I'm Jennifer Angel, these are your stars, Sagittarius. Okay, quite an interesting time coming up. Of course, you still have Jupiter sitting there until mid-year in your solar seventh house of love and partnerships. And for the last few weeks or so, you've had Venus sitting in your solar fifth house. This is also another area where love affairs can begin. In fact, there's still an abundance of activity and planets sitting in this area of your chart. Uranus is, is there, Mercury, then the Sun and Mars. Mars. So this is also a very creative area of the of your chart, and with the sun there, it the sun will help you express um, who you are, and certainly in a in a creative manner. Now um, this area does bring in children as well, and there is a very nice connection later in the week when Venus moves into your. Um, solar six house all to do with, with around work area that's very nice connection with Venus and Neptune Neptune is sitting in your area of family so there could be an opportunity that comes up around family to do with work now um, you want to be you know careful that you don't read too much into it in the beginning because it may not end up the way that it's first presented but it certainly has a, a, a very nice vibration around it okay so watch out for that now with Mars and the Sun um, and Venus all being in your soul at six house what Mars can do now this is at the end of the week so um, what Mars in this area can really just tempt you to try to fit too much into your calendar and what happens if you don't um, if you're not able to do everything that you promise then uh, you know of course some people are going to be let down now also you're a big picture type person Sagittarius so you like to live and look you know on the what's coming up you're very futuristic um, and what can happen here that you want to be careful that you don't sort of neglect the details because with Mars it's going to tempt you just to move fast get things done um, and take on probably more than you than any human can physically <laughs> handle and um, what can happen here is you can leave some of the details which are the glue that holds everything together so you you want to just come back take a little slower don't take on too much or make sure that you have a very good support person who understands your dream and supports your plans and is able to you know pick other pieces in work in a work situation I always think that um, Virgo who is detailed oriented and Sagittarius which is a big picture oriented are a perfect fit together so um, it, you know certainly certainly to do with a with a work situation personally then you know they can drive each other mad but you know good good at work okay so um, you want to also be careful and, and look after you and look after your health and well-being in this area and with with Venus moving into the sixth house it's very good to on the image level so if you do for an image overhaul then Venus in the sixth house is certainly going to help you do that and promote that so think about the image that you want to project and present and then you know have a look um, at what what you have and what you are presenting and make sure that that's in line okay all right have a great time this week I'm Jennifer Angel thanks for watching